Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll make some branches for the tree we made in the previous video. Let's get started. So let's minimize this. And I always like to work uh, flat. So the easiest way to make a, a 3D branch is to make it flat first. So let's make a cube like this. That'll be a start point. We can kind of taper this down a bit like that. And then select the top here and then extrude. Let's use the manipulator, add some divisions, a little more, that, and we need to scale. So there's a couple ways we can scale or we can shrink this down. Uh, because we're not using a curve, and I don't want to use a curve, um, if I try and use a taper, it's not going to work. That only works if we use a curve for our uh, extrude. So we can either uh, apply a lattice. So if you go to um, modeling, deform, and create a lattice. And the settings that I use for the lattice are the divisions two, two and two, and then local divisions 30, 30, 30, like this. If I hit apply, uh, I can then right click, select lattice points, select the top here, and then scale them down. And we'll get something like this. Another way to do this, instead of using a lattice, is to use soft select. So if I select these vertices here, press soft select, I can hold B in the middle drag until I reach the bottom like this. Now if I double click the move tool, I can go into the soft select settings and change this, make sure this is on surface and set my uh, fall off uh, curve to this flat one here. I can then hold control and scale the Y direction, which will scale both the Z and X instead of Y, like that. And that'll give me the same thing. So it's basically like using this scale here, but from a view where you can't see this green plane, right? So it's the same. So if I hold a left click uh, this, see I'm scaling Z and X, or if I hold control and click the, Z, uh, the Y direction, um, scaling, X and Z, like that. So we'll make a branch this way. And then what we can do is we can turn soft select by pressing B, turn off soft select like that. I can select a bunch of faces uh, that I can use for my extrude like this. here like this and then I want to extrude them pull them out a little bit like this and then from here I'm going to make them square and you can also just kind of pull some of these in a little bit so we get that basically that's like the knot all right uh, now let's reselect those faces. Like that. And then extrude those. So extrude. Like that. Give them some divisions. And now we just need to do the same thing we did before. I'm going to use soft select, up, get up to, close to the uh, direction, uh, close to the edge of the branch. Well, that's pretty good. And then turn soft select off. I just want to make these a little more like square by just bringing these down a little bit. So it's basically what we're trying to do is not to have very long. Uh, faces here and it doesn't have to be perfect actually the less perfect the better if you want a little extra detail we can just add a loop in between here or we have a lot of space all right that's good all right so if we press 3 you can see this is what it looks like pretty good we don't need the space down here I'll delete it all right so that's our branch so now we're going to go into rigging, 
go to uh, joint creation. And then if I press four, I'm gonna hide the grid so I can, it's easier to see and just click here and then just make a bunch of uh, joints. And I'm, I'm making a lot. It doesn't matter how many you make, but the more, the better. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm making sure that everywhere there's a branch that's joining the main uh, trunk, I have a joint. Yeah. Okay, we can then press Y, which will reselect the joint tool, and then we can go this way. Y, so click here, and then we can go out. All right, that's good. And you can see it's inside like that. We can select the joints. Uh, let's freeze this. So uh, modify, freeze, reset. That's good. Don't freeze the joints, of course. Select the joint chain. Select the, let's call this branches. That, select the uh, joints. Then select the branches, just control select. And go to skin, bind skin. Uh, always good measure to reset your settings, hit apply. Now, these are controlling the branches. If I select all of the branches here, uh, select the main branch and press down, I can then uh, press F in the outliner and it will open up all of the jo uh, joint chains. Another thing we can do is select the outermost uh, joints here, like this. And press F, that will also open them all up like that. Now, what I can do is I can select not the first one, but the second joint, and then scroll down and shift select all of the joints. Because if I select them here, I'm only selecting the first one. So I want to select down from the first one all the way to the end, from the outliner like this. Now, uh, we can use bonus tools. So bonus tools uh, are free. Just do a Google search for uh, Maya bonus tools, and you will be able to download them and install them. Just a very simple install. And under modify, Randomize Transformation Advanced, we have this randomizer tool. And in here, uh, you have an object and component. So if you're working on uh, objects, these joints are objects, you're gonna use this section. And if you're working on components like vertices, you use this section. And we, just, we don't wanna translate, we just wanna rotate them. And there's a multiply axis, basically it's how much each axis is gonna, is gonna get multiplied. And we can then do this and rotate, basically randomize all of these joints. You can see we can get really crazy with our rotations here. Then what I can do is kind of undo some of the craziness that happens here because it kind of goes too far, but I, I kind of like that. So I just then go in and undo some of that. And then also what I can do is basically point the branch, the branches like to grow away, right? So you just point them in the proper directions. Here we have our tree branches going. And to me, this is an easier way to do it. Uh, I mean, there are applications you can use. You can use MASH, you can use uh, other ways to create trees. There's speed tree. But sometimes you just want to be able to make a tree really quickly in Maya. And I always find that this way it's pretty easy to do. And you can really uh, kind of art direct how the tree is going to look. That looks pretty good. Now, when you're happy with it, we can uh, we need to first unlock the channel. So whenever you skin something, all the channels get locked. We don't need that anymore. So you just go in here when you select the geo and right click unlock selected. We can then select this. Make sure you're selecting the geo. Duplicate it. Move it over. 
you can then select the joints again. You need to click reload selected and then this will reload the tool and uh, basically we can start over with the randomization and then we can go a little crazy again. Then once we're done, all we need to do is we can hide this, hide this one, and then we unhide our tree. So your pivot is down here. You can just select the pivot and just move it down at the base. Our scale is a little big, so we'll just scale these down. And then you can start placing them on the tree. So I'm holding V. I'm in the move tool holding V and I'm just doing this. You can create different kinds of branches like some more complex than others. Now some of the branches are going to be larger and some are uh, bigger and you can connect them to the tree this way. So like right now you can see that this branch, uh, we have four edges here on the end. And we have eight here because if we try and connect it here, it's not going to connect that well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this, scale it over and then move it a little bit. And then if I subdivide it, poly smooth like this, this gives me eight subdivisions. Let's put our just a kind of Lambert one on this. Now, if I delete these four faces here, I can select this branch like this, and our tree trunk. Combine, go to history, double click this edge, double click this edge, and then click bridge like that. If you're not happy with the, the way it's connecting, there's a bridge offset and you can just slide it. Just using the select bridge offset and then use middle mouse button to slide it back and forth. So you like where it lands. And then just make adjustments here. You can also make adjustments like this by moving these around. Basically just to make it fit a little better into the trunk. And you can see now it's connected nice and smooth. Add this one down here. Let's make this one bigger. Same thing. I'm going to turn on wireframe so I can see where it's going to connect. I'm going to connect it right here. So I'm going to select these four faces. So this one, when you have a small section you're connecting to, you don't have to subdivide the branch because it is, uh, the section that it connects to is could just be a face. There we go. So you can see this one's denser because it's connecting to a, a larger surface and this is less dense. We can soften edges. Use the command for that is under uh, mesh display, soften edge, and then there's our crazy little tree. You can still adjust it by going in, selecting a bunch of vertices. Uh, you can use soft select by just scaling it a little bit. Then with the rotate tool selected, hold D and D and snap it somewhere close to where the soft select ends. And then we can that and add a bunch of more branches and we can make a really gnarly looking tree there you go all right guys if you like this video please hit the like button leave a comment and uh, if you want to see more content please subscribe and i'll see you guys next time thanks